Hello, I'm Matt from Tooth and Nail Armory. Today we're going to be doing a little demonstration of our Tooth and Nail Armory breacher style chokes. Uh, we have a modified and a full. These are in two various states of finish. Uh, the standard choke will come black. Uh, it will be available in a bright finish, a little more polished than this if you would like. But standard will be black. We'll be comparing those to the UTS-15 cylinder bore choke that comes with the shotgun. We'll be shooting three targets at 20 yards. Uh, we'll run these shells through there. We've got 11.45, some double lock buckshot, and then maybe we'll run a slug or two through the modified choke to see how that does. Uh, we'll be shooting our UTS-15 tooth and nail armory shotgun with a few of our upgrades. We've got a trigger guard here that we make for it. A Picatinny rail to mount an angled foregrip and a flashlight, which I think is a better location there, uh, and also side rails for each side here. Uh, I like to run the EOTech XPS 2 on my shotguns. Uh, it's very handy, very quick target acquisition. So we'll load up, load up the shotgun here. We'll just put one round in each time uh, and take a shot at the target. First will be the cylinder bore from UTS. modified breaching choke. Uh, most breaching chokes on the market today are only cylinder bore. We thought we're making a breaching style muzzle device that might as well have a functional purpose. patterns we have. Alright, here we go. This is the pattern of the UTS cylinder bore choke at 20 yards. Like the extreme is right up here. All the way down. We've got some off the bottom here, so it actually needs a little bigger paper to pattern it. But it doesn't have a bad spread at that point. It's pretty good. Most of the shot is concentrated right in this area. Not too bad, that's 20 yards, cylinder bore. Here we go, it's getting kind of windy down here, but uh, tooth and nail armory modified choke. Uh, looks like this is the highest one right there. We've got one over here. And I believe that right there is the lowest one there. So there's kind of modified choke. Again, the pattern is concentrated pretty heavily right in the center. Alright. Tooth the nail armory full choke. Uh, like this is the highest point right here. And lowest point goes right across here. There's your pattern full choke at 20 yards. These targets, uh, you can see they've got some damage to them already. We had somebody decided at a three-gun match they didn't want to, they wanted to stash the targets behind a tire. They thought that that would stop a pistol round, but as you can see, it didn't. We've got a couple hundred of these targets that somebody ruined with being too lazy to carry a target down to reset 
during the match. So, just for your information, a pistol, a tire will not stop a pistol round. All right, we're going to go through the same process this time with buckshot. Two and three quarter inch. Target on the left. UTS cylinder bore choke uh, around here, there, there, and several right in this there. Well, actually, that was existing damage there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I believe. There's the UTS cylinder bore. There's the tooth and nail modified. And here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm not sure if there's two there or not. Kind of hard to tell with these with the existing damage on the target. And the full choke. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, this was, that's the previous damage, so there's nine. So like I pulled that one a little bit. Not a real big difference between the modified and full. I need to get a tape measure and do some measurements and see the extreme spread, and we'll go from there. I guess there's where the wad punched through. Uh, I don't see any wad damage on any of the other targets, but there you go. That's the some info for the three chokes available for the UTS-15.